and gentlemen, my name is Elroy Serapio and I'm representing the Umbrella Corporation. I am a fellow member of the Toku community and people, this company is offering you $75,000 per lot of land. You can buy that new car, you can buy that new house, you can take that long needed vacation, you can finally be the envy of all your friends. People, stop, this is a scam. Your land is worth five times as much as the company is offering. Please, people, don't take this offer. It's a scam. It's what a are you doing? You're fired! So what you're doing here is wrong. You're robbing the people out of their land. You can't fire me. I quit. Come on, why look so deep? Come, come. Come on, sit down and talk to you. Come on. You do a good deed today. You do a good thing for Toko. Yeah, that's true, but I don't know what to do. Well, it's not you had land up in Toko? Yeah, my grandfather left that a few years ago. But we boy, that land has plenty of breadfruit and orange and thing on it. Just recently, boy, I went in the market and price blame high. What about if we come together, boy? And do a community market. <laughs> that sounds real good. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea. What is that? I could sell and package breadfruit chips. Oh, that is a good idea, boy. You see? Young and old could work together to improve the community at Toku. Let me tell you something with your technical skills, your intelligence and granny wisdom. <laughs> man, we're gonna make Toko. A place on the map, man. We go push down the map. We go improve it. That song's really good. The sky is the limit. Yes. <laughs> we have great news for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. As two individuals from the Toko community through science and agriculture have successfully added value to local food. Granny led the development of a community market in Toko so that locals no longer have to shop outside the community for market produce. Elroy Serapio, a dynamic, intelligent young man, has developed a new product, breadfruit chips. A factory is now being completed that utilizes solar energy in the dehydration of breadfruit to produce and market this innovative new product. Wow! This product has created mass employment in the Toko region. Local bakeries are now buying into the idea of utilizing breadfruit flour as an important ingredient in their breads and pastries. The breadfruit tree is now being used for a number of medicinal purposes. Certainly, a new local sector of agriculture has been created and an avenue for exporting breadfruit chip as a lucrative product is now available. According to Elroy Serapio, quote, we don't have to wait on government funding or grants to develop ourselves and our communities. Through science and agriculture, which is the first step on the road to success, we the people can add value to local food. It is simple. All we have to do is think outside the box. This is Dennis James reporting for Caribbean Highlights. Mmm, breadfruit chips. Oh, now that's thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. This is Keyshawn Walcott encouraging you to think outside the box.